Good morning, students. Myself, Devasis Mishra. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering. So today, we will discuss experiments of control system and instruments in engineering. So these are the list of experiments. We will go one by one. So your experiment number three is obtain the frequency response of lab and lead compensator. So what is the objective? The objective is to obtain the frequency response of lag and heat compensator. So what is the equipment required in your in this particular experiment? In this experiment, one shear is required, a trainer grip VLLN1 is required, then connecting wires as per the requirement. Then this is the circuit diagram, this is the kit of your lead lag method. Then in theory, a control system is compensated to obtain the desired performance. There are three types of compensated network. One is lead, another one is lag, another one is lag lead network. Is so the compensation network introduces Additional codes, zeros in integral system, thereby, thereby alternating its original transfer function. So, what is phase lead compensation? In case of phase lead network, the phase of output voltage leads the phase of input voltage for sinusoidal inputs. The lead network allows to pass high frequencies where the low frequencies are attained. Then what is phase lag compensation? In case of phase lag network, the phase of output voltage lags with the phase of the input voltage for sinusoidal inputs. Then in case of phase lag compensation network in a control system, shifts the gain plus of a frequency point to a lower value, thus decreasing the bandwidth. Improving this display error and reducing the speed of the response. Then what is the procedure? I have told you before, there are some procedure is required when we are doing some experiment. So in this particular experiment, connection we are made as for the connection diagram. According to the connection diagram, you have to do the connection. So power supply was switched on, sine wave as input was given. Next is the amplitude and frequency of the input signal was observed in a tabular form. The discharge is cutting through CR was observed by keeping the CR in XY mode and calculating. Calculation was made by using head shift of the output signal with the input. Then the experiment for various frequencies were conducted. Finally, the phase angle phi is measured from the part. This is for lag process and lead process. So this is your diagram will come. So sin phi will be x1 by x2 is equal to y1 by y2. So phi will be sin inverse x1 by x2, which equals to sin inverse y1 by y2. And sin phi by y2 will be x1 by x2, which will be y1 by y2. So phi will be sin inverse x1 by x2. Sign in box y one by y two. So this is your observation table for lag coupling, lag process, serial number, frequency notch, then phase shifting part. Then for lead compensation, lead process, sign, serial number, frequency notch, phase shift. So we have to take three, uh, three uh, examples. Then after we have to take this readings. Then in conclusion, the 